Hello and welcome to what the video title claims this video is about. I saved the best for last by the way. First repo amazing for learning is going to be Tailwind CSS. Yeah, you heard that right. Tailwind CSS is actually open source. So what you probably knew is that Tailwind UI made some website templates. But what you probably didn't know, or at least I hope so, is that the actual Tailwind website with their documentation, everything you can see here on the front page, which is beautiful and functional by the way, is 100% open source. You can access the repository with everything inside of it. So for example, let's say you wanted to see how they did this, you know, do they render this statically, for example, put it in the search bar and you'll find that it's inside of the source pages index.js. If we jump to it using control F, you can see exactly how they structure their website and all the styles that are associated with it. For example, the heading right here. How cool is that? Now for each project I'm going to show you, I want to highlight what's the main thing you can learn from the repo. And for Tailwind CSS, you can probably guess it's the styling. Next up, beautiful, functional, how does this GitHub repository not have more stars? Most of them have above a thousand GitHub stars. This one has barely 230. Very underrated. What it is, is essentially kind of like an analytic solution that I want to build in the future. You can define custom events in your project. You can see that right here. For example, you import the client and then you can emit custom events, for example, on errors or whenever you want to emit them. And you can see all of them right here in your dashboard once they are emitted. This is super cool. It's open source, very underrated. You can see right here it has 220 stars and it also looks beautiful. Most of what you're going to see in this list looks very, very nice. So not only can you learn styles if you wanted to, this kind of reminds me of linear, but you can also see how to implement such a solution where you can emit custom events and show them inside of a beautiful dashboard to your users. If you've ever sent emails from a JavaScript environment, you know it's a pain. The next app, React Email, solves this problem and you can learn exactly how they go about it. Next one, it also looks beautiful and so much like linear as well. I guess they really pioneered this style is React Email. It's in beta, you can see docs and examples. And what React Beta does is it makes it very easy for you to write beautiful emails with React. And that is such a huge one for me. In the past, with freelance projects, with personal projects, you always send some kind of email and it's always horrible to write because it's just essentially basic HTML. You can see a lot of templates right here or examples, I guess. They look so good. They're written in React and you can see how they're written right here in their documentation. For example, you can define a email component, then the HTML import that from React email HTML and then you can build your whole email with the components they provide. Images, headings, fonts. This is super cool, a modern way to write emails. And of course, it's fully open source. You can learn exactly how they did it. And you certainly won't be the only one learning from this. It has over 6.1 thousand stars, so it's quite popular. And for good reason, it's very cool, it's up to date, it's maintained, a um, very, very cool source to learn from if you want to get into how to build a service that lets you write beautiful emails. Do you remember when GPT was at the peak of its hype? Everybody was talking about it. Every YouTube video about it gained like a million views within days about and this app gained a million users because of it. If you want to learn how to create large scale applications that a lot of users can use, take a look at this. It's Room GPT. It claims to have above 1 million users, which I believe I heard about it a lot when it was more popular. And you can see what it basically does is it takes in a picture of a room and uses something called Replicate, which is an AI model, kind of like marketplace or provider that I have also used for one of my open source projects in the past and it outputs something similar in the room structure but with a different design. That's what room GPT is for and has a lot of users. You can see down here it's done with replicate, upload and Vercel. This is one available as a Vercel template so you can literally just clone and deploy it as it is. And then secondly you can actually take a look at the repository and see how they're communicating with replicate. And this is how they do it in the pages directory, not the app router yet. We have an API route. First we check if there is a session, if the user is logged in and if they are we want to see if they actually have the tokens right here, if they have credits available to do this um, room conversion. And if they do, then we're actually going to send a request to the replicate API that room GPT is using to generate the new image right here on the right hand side and passing it some data and then getting back 
the response right here and displaying that to the user. Honestly, it's super straightforward, but it's very well done. You can learn exactly how they do it just like that from the GitHub repo. You stuck around till the end of the video. Here's my favorite repo, the one I think you can learn the most from. It's a link shortener essentially, which makes it sound very simple, but you can see it has built in analytics. You can see how many people clicked on your link. Generating links is super easy. It's completely free. There's a world map on their website where you can see in real time the last 50 the people that clicked on the dub.sh slash github link. And the point is, you can't just see that on the website. You can learn how it's done, right? That's the most important thing. They offer custom domains, have over 6,000 users, which is pretty cool to learn how actual production grade applications are built. Uh, so for example, let's create a custom link. We can click create link right here. And let's say I wanted to link the repo I showed you last right, the room GPT one. We can create a custom link if we wanted to like room GPT, I could input that or I could click randomize. And then we can also set a password protection and some other stuff like an expiration date, which is super cool. Click create link and there we go. If we copy this, paste it in the browser, take a look at that in real time, we can see there's one click now in real time, by the way, how cool is that? We have the standard CRUD stuff right here and you can learn exactly how this is built in their GitHub repository. This is the repo, it has 6.6 thousand stars, it's actively maintained, it uses the pages directory instead of the app router, most of these projects still do, but it's perfectly fine for learning nonetheless.